You are welcome to Bless Biafra Network. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everybody, wherever you do me say, depending on your time zone. Today we are here again with another news for you. And I hope you will like it. So please, before I go straight to the news, I would like you to press the bell icon so that we'll notify you anytime we have news for you. Thank you so much. Now let's go on to the news. The headline says, Just In, International Leader Celebrate High Pop Leader Nande Carlo and so on. Instead of dialogue, as a court dead, other dissident groups, including even the Boko Haram, Buhari isolated the crisis as an Igbo palava, and hence pounced on the IPOB with brute force. I quickly admonished the president that his move was nothing but a scam to rekindle the cyst gist to rekindle the cyst gist of the Biafran war hoping to regain his warning popularity within our party and the nation at large there I reminded him that the Nigeria of 1967 is not the Nigeria of today. Yet General Buhari did not listen. Rather, he declared the Biafran activist as a terrorist. It is worth saying, however, that is why the president was busy crushing the Biafran activist with land army. He gratefully condoned the deadly flanny men and organization recognized worldwide as a terrorist group since 2014. It didn't take long before a legion, a legion of Nigerians in diaspora, some of who may not necessarily subscribe to the style of style or vision of IPOB but are conscious of the scare of the injustice in the homeland we are provoked to unleash a worldwide campaign that sufficiently painted Buhari as a dictator and a beer god and the world took note the toll of the IPOB crisis on national economy particularly with foreign investment is where chronic code. But an Igbo adage goes that the sickness that typically kills a dog hardly allows it to perceive the odor of feces. Though the biggest news of Nigeria since Buhari assumed second term has been the more beat audacity to frame and detain Umaru Shore, a renowned anti-corruption and human rights activist, journalist, and his opportunity opponent in the 2019 presidential election. Shore soon remained the term revolution now. A mere plan to protest against bad governance in his homeland but the Buhari regime would charge him for treasonable felony. A one of the consequences, noting that only a pawn, only a pawn, ignores the potential of the heavy funded but regional IPOP, with a worldwide membership fusing with a broad based national outfit like Revolution Now. The president counted with a mundane temerity of de deploying the trio of minister, Ministry of Information, Ministry of External Affairs, 
and the Nigerian Diaspora Commission to pay do false information on Shore to the international community. Not surprisingly, Buhari could not recognize that beside the Nigerian in diaspora and social media, the ever vibrant Nigeria press and the core of the Nigerian civil society now have global reach. To Denan the Kahlo, the terrorist is celebrated in the international community as a paragon of justice. To Domori Shawure, the copist, copist, I see worldwide, is seen worldwide as a mystical mixture of conviction, courage, and stoicism in the core of the Nigerian liberation. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to this news. And may God bless you all. Please, if you have anything to say, come to the comment section. I will be waiting. Thank you.